Hey guys, how you doing? It's Craig Dweller. Um, out here, a few days left of uh, the year 2013. A couple days before New Year's. Um, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be after the New Year. So, um, just needed to get out. I'm in one of my favorite places to come out for a day hike up in Central Mass here. And um, I just figured I'd take you along for a little hike and spend a few hours in the woods. Been, uh, I've had a couple weeks off through the holidays from work here and uh, been visiting, enjoying the hell out of the holidays, eating, drinking, partying my ass off. So I need some time in the woods. And uh, well, here I am. So thanks for coming along, and we'll uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right. That's pretty cool. Had the remnants of an old paper wasp nest. Noticed a lot of those this year out and about. Pretty cool. So happy to get out today. I'm, on, I'm walking along the edge of this reservoir here, and uh, the air is just so clean and obviously cold, but it's so nice to breathe some clean air. Stretch the legs, get out here about a mile, and uh, probably gonna sit down. Make some coffee, maybe some ramen for lunch, we'll see. Kind of windy. <clears throat> you know, I've been seeing a lot of people uh, lately using this MR. MSR pocket rocket uh, canister stove and um, most recently uh, Joe's Neon check out his channel awesome he's got this uh, pretty much a weekly deal on his channel called shop talk with Joe and it's fascinating it's really fun to hang out with Joe um, one of his most recent videos he somebody had asked him um, what he uses when he camps for cookware and such and went through all his gear uh, pertaining to auto, you know, car camping, boat camping, canoe, kayak camping, that kind of thing, as well as backpacking, and, and Joe, like a lot of people, use one of these, uh, you know, the pocket rockets. I got this probably, this was my first canister stove, I think it was close to five or six years ago, and at the time it was 30, 39 bucks, and I think they're still 39 bucks, unreal, you can't believe it, man, but you know what, trusted and true, bomb proof, man, there's not a whole lot, um, 
that can go wrong with them. I've never had any issues at all with the pocket rocket. And I would strongly suggest um, young uh, people, boys, girls, or whoever getting into the outdoors, camping, backpacking, kayak, to, you know, canoe camping, all that good stuff. Um, I would highly recommend this stove. It's simple to use. It's uh, somewhat affordable. And, um, you know, it, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with it. You don't have to clean it and do all that kind of stuff. So let's get this going here. And like uh, Joe had stated in his uh, last video, Joe's Neon, you know, it'll go right down to a simmer. Well, the thing will absolutely crank, like I'm going to crank it right now to get this water boiling. I don't have a, a lid on this, but in all, in all reality, it's just going to take a couple minutes anyway. But yeah, check out um, Joe's channel. It's called Joe's Neon. Really nice stuff. Be back with you in a minute. So there it is. The uh, water came to a boil in a, not even about two minutes. It's 12 ounces in there. And what I'm doing now, guys, I want to show you another cool thing. Is um, if you guys don't know about Faro, Faro's got an awesome channel too. Well, he recently made a bunch of or processed a bunch of acorns out in California and um, bleached out all the, or, uh, you know, bleached out all the tannins in them by soaking them, drying them, soaking them, drying them. Um, after he took them out of the husk or the shell, ground them up into this super, super fine, like a micro coffee type stuff. And he was cool enough to send me a bag, and here it is. I've tried it once at home, and it's really good. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, stir some into this hot water now and uh, check it out out here in the field. Now he said, I believe, two tea or a teaspoon to a cup, but I like to put a little bit more. And he also said, stir it really good. So um, I think the idea there is to obviously it dissolves it a little bit, if you will. But I'm not really quite sure if he used a mortar and pestle or how he really ground it to the state it's at. But it's almost like that Starbucks Via micro ground coffee. It's super fine. So if you stir it up and then just let it sit for a minute. It, uh, it's freaking awesome, and I really appreciate it, Alan, you sent me this. It's got a neat, earthy taste to it. It's kind of hard to describe, but, um, it is good, man, and I appreciate the efforts involved in getting it here. It's not an easy process, as you and, uh, your daughter found out. I appreciate the effort, man. But, yeah, there it is. Looks just like ground coffee. Um... So I'm going to let that sit a few minutes and we'll give it a shot. So I've got the uh, coffee uh, warming up, if you will. It kind of cooled off quick once I was stirring it around. So I'm going to get it up to temperature again. And then I'm going to pour it into this GSI uh, Fair Share mug. I've been using this a lot. This was given to me by JJ, a work in work and hiking buddy that's uh, been on with me a couple trips and this thing is awesome because my normal backpacking setup the uh, GSI minimalist solo set or the minimalist set fits inside here um, and so it's easy to com you know it's compact and easy to carry around when I'm backpacking but I do like this pocket rocket for day trips snowshoe day hikes that kind of thing um, or like this because it's just easy and convenient and quick really fast I've got a bunch of stoves, man. But yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let that settle a bit and uh, enjoy. I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright. Oh, it's so nice out here. That's really good, Alan. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.
It's got a nice, uh, like I said, like a nutty, earthy flavor. It's mild. It's not super strong. And apparently there's no um, caffeine in it, so that might be uh, intriguing to some people. But um, So I'm not sure if this would work for me in the morning. I need the caffeine, but certainly right now it's good, man. Thank you, sir. You do get occasional ground here or there, but not a big deal. Oh, it's perfect for a cold day. Yeah. So, Alan, out there in California, cheers, buddy, and Happy New Year. Thank you again. Mmm, good stuff. One other thing, um, Joe's Neon. Joe, this is, you also showed this Coleman Max kit from uh, Walmart. And, again, I've had this for, this is just the biggest part of the four-piece kit that you buy. It's Again, it's like 20 bucks, and like you said, and... You know, again, for anybody starting out or weekend trips or whatnot, this has been on a ton of fires and stoves, but it's still perfectly good on the inside. Good stuff, man. Hard anodized aluminum. Love it. Alright, got some ramen going here. Gonna eat that for lunch. And, uh couple hours of daylight left and I'm gonna head back walk out of here really enjoying this out here folks again last couple days of 2013 here and I want to thank all my subscribers and new subscribers to my channel I really really appreciate it folks never thought I'd get um, as many as I do have and it's much appreciated and again a shout out to Pharaoh thanks for the, the uh, acorn coffee Shout out to Joe's Neon for bringing up some uh, kit from the past. Got out here and used it via uh, somewhat inspired by your most recent video. So I, here it is, the Pocket Rocket MSR and the Coleman Max Cook Kit. Good reminder once in a while. It doesn't always have to be super expensive and um, super expensive and costly. All right. Well, again, Happy New Year, everyone, and. Uh, We'll see you next year. All right, peace.